So one thing that you have to know uh, is that the CME system in France uh, is very much about a conversation between the physicians and the state from very early on. So the state and the National Sickness Fund were involved in CME very early on. And it really shapes the history of CME in France. Um, there has been a mandatory CPD system for all health professionals for quite a while now. But it's very recently, a very recent legal framework was put in place in 2016 uh, that defines CPD for physicians, but also for all health professionals, as a three-year cycle and a blend of approaches, educational activities, quality improvement, patient safety activities, and practice appraisal. And that is very recent. And very recently also, with this legal fr framework, uh, was put in place a um, quality regulation system, uh, similar to accreditation. We don't use the, the term accreditation, but it's, it's very similar. And this is what the National Agency for CPD is responsible for. Uh, also, I would say that the current situation is that there is a swift change in the landscape. Uh, more and more CPD providers are adopting innovative formats, are engaging patients in uh, CME. It's very new, but it's, it's, it's progressing, and also interprofessional approaches. And the National Agency for CPD is supporting this movement. I, I was a little optimistic in my picture just right now. You have to know, and to be honest, uh, the system is really in its infancy. It's a baby. It's hardly walking. It's a two-year-old, I would say. Uh, for example, the requirements that applies to health professions or to the CPD providers are not that well known and not all health professions or health professionals are aware that there is a, a CPD obligation. So uh, there is barely no enforcement of the obligation and the, the model of governance is quite unfinished. Uh, for example, we are waiting for the uh, professional organization to define more finally what is CPD CME within the scope of specific specialties or specific profession. The model is in a way unfinished and we're trying to complete the cycle, I would say, and to make it grow into an ad adult system. Uh, as regards the physician, uh, something very interesting is occurring. In France, French physicians is, are looking into putting in place a recertification process, as it is the case in many countries. So as I see it, it's really a, a major opportunity for them to reflect on standards of practice, on maintenance of competence in the field of medicine, uh, and uh, I think it will be an opportunity for them to renew the contract they have with the public authorities. Uh, it will be a new, maybe more well-balanced contract between the physician and the state. And I'm sure and I hope it will benefit both the physicians and the patients. I was very happy with this session because it brought into light the necessity for accreditors to come together to discuss, to agree on shared principles, even if the model of governance are very different. Because 
The health systems are facing similar problems. The science is the same everywhere. Uh, the physicians are going from one country to another. So the, the authority in charge of accreditation, even if we don't use this term, but in charge of regulation of quality of CME, must come together, even if they, they have, I would say, their own domestic problems, but they need to find space and time to come together, to build trust, and to build common grounds to uh, accredit and recognize CME for physicians. It's really something obvious and common sense that stems from this uh, session. Thank <laughs> you.